come out of this bog today in uh, Kanaka National Forest and uh, we're going to see what kind of pitcher plants we can find here. I think there's supposed to be wary in the area and uh, if so that would make it probably one of the furthest east populations that wary eye grows. But uh, we'll see if they're here. Well, here's the most obvious carnivorous plant here, Saracenia flava. They're all knocked over, must have been a storm recently. A little jumping spider. Got some citizena down here. All right, and here are the wary eye. Pretty dark. Now this is about as far east as uh, wary eye grows in the wild, but I've read that uh, plants were introduced into some uh, already existing bogs in Kaneka National Forest just to increase the population levels and. This might be some of those wary, I don't know. Looks like we've got an orange fringed orchid trying to open right here. Some sort of Platanthera, I think. But I'm gonna see if there's any more wary down here, because this looks a lot more like the Splinter Hill habitat where they grow. I didn't see any more wary eye out there, but uh, right now, headed towards Florida, I'm gonna see if we can find some gold fences. And uh, on the way back home, I might stop and look for some more wary eye. Well, I'm at a well-known spot for gold fences here, and uh, just right here in the parking area. Bunch of gold fences everywhere. It's pretty dry, so they're dark, and some of them are crispy, but there's a lot of them. Well, I'm glad they're here, but it doesn't look they're in the best situation. They're kind of washing down into the parking lot. I might try to walk up the creek, see if I can find a uh, more natural area. I haven't made it down to the creek yet, and there's a lot of plant of, not plant of folio. Uh, priming the floor right here. Mixed in with the bog button. Here we go. This is a lot better right here. Looks like I've got some sort of snake coming towards me. That's a that's a cotton mouth. Hmm. So I'm still walking trying to find a good population of gold fences to video right on the creek. Now looks like there's a little turtle on this log. I'm gonna see if I can grab it. I don't know what kind that is.
can't get over how impressive these clumps of uh, primula flora are just right here on the edge of the water. Little fences here too, it's all along the edge of this creek. This is a crazy spot for the primeval flora to grow. Look how high out of the water they are. Made it over to Apalachicola. Got our first flabbas here. Tons of citizena down here too. Looks like it's been burned very recently. Walk down the road here, got some more flavas. We're trying to find some red ones, but so far it's been burned so recently that I don't know if any of these pictures have had time to color up if they are red. But uh, we'll see what we can find. We stopped to look at the ones on the side of the road here. These are a lot bigger because it hadn't been burned so recently. Here's the red ones I was wanting to see. Let's see if we can find some more. Here's the nicest red clump we've seen yet. I think we found all the red flavas. This has got to be the darkest one I've ever seen. That lip is just black. There's lots of citizena down here. It's really dark red as well. Doesn't even really have windows on the tops. And there's also tons of planifolia too. That one's pretty big. Tricularia, probably Cornuta or Juncea.
I just can't believe how impressive this bog is with so much different color and size. It's almost like the buttercup flat of Flavas with all this red. Oh yeah, and there's a bunch of Tracy eye everywhere too. Well, here are some fly traps in Apalachicola National Forest. Some decades ago, a guy introduced these because they were endangered. And since then, they've kind of become invasive. And yeah, they're everywhere in this bog. They've spread all over. Right beside this nice clump of planifolia here, looks like there's a uh, purple utricularia. I would say utricularia purpurea, but these flowers are tiny. Looks like I have a uh, Pinguicula pomula, maybe? I have to check on that, I'm not quite sure. Here's another one. We walked inside this thick area and looks like there's Pinguicula primuliflora. Growing in clumps like it usually does in the wettest areas. I'm gonna go check out another site here. I spotted some uh, Pinguicula lutea from the road. But uh, let's go see if there's any out here. Looks like there's a few flavas here and there. We are at a little spot off the side of the road here, north of Apalachicola National Forest. And uh, lots of Leucophila growing out here. I think that's relatively uncommon for this far east in Florida. Looks like there's more fly traps here. Lots more. Because of the fly traps that were introduced here, it's debated whether or not these Leucophila are native or if they were introduced along with them. 